With the introduction of the Constellation HD series of ATEM switchers, Blackmagic Design have added a neat little feature for displaying a timer on your SDI output. Let's explore how it works and a few features I'd love to see added in the future. Enabling the counter. Let's get started by enabling the counter on our output. Currently the counter is limited to SDI output one. So in the ATEM software control, we can navigate to outputs, output one, and enable the counter. Control from the ATEM software control. Here's my output one from the ATEM 2ME Constellation HD, and you'll notice that there isn't much to look at just yet. Back over on the ATEM software control, we need to head to the output tab and take a look at the counter section. For the sake of getting things going, I'll stick with a countdown, enter 10, 0, 0, and start the timer. Now over on the output, it's up and running as expected. I can send this to a monitor in front of a stage or maybe to a remote contributor so they can keep track of their allotted time. Positioning, scale, and opacity. From here, we can position and scale the counter to wherever we want on the screen. And we can lower the opacity, particularly useful if you don't want to block some important information behind it. Types of timers. Right now, there's two options within here, a countdown or a count up. These will be suitable for most timer needs. In fact, the countdown one is probably the one I'll use the most. It would be great to see a time of day option in here as well as a replacement for these, or in addition to them, maybe at the bottom, you can show the time of day as well as the count up or count down. There's also a checkbox here for when a countdown timer runs out. You can choose to hide it when the time is elapsed. Control for macros. All of the counter options are available and controllable via ATEM macros as you might expect. I did create a few test ones to see how it worked, and now I have a few that I can run through for typical timer lengths. One minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 30 minutes are very typical in things that I work on. Interestingly, there is a clock ID field in the XML, which defaults to zero. This might be just good practice for the XML indexing, or maybe in the future we'll have multiple timers. That'd be pretty nice, but for now there's just one. Future improvements. My initial feelings on this counter is that it's very much a first take for Blackmagic Design since it's the first time they've added something like this to an ATEM. I'd love to see a future edition here where font options are available for the look and feel of the timer. You could add timer favorites so you can quickly recall those within the ATEM software control. Though I suspect this is what macros are for and really where they'll come in useful. I'd love to see a minus counter here so when the time runs out, it goes into the minus. And it would be nice to see this feature available on other SDI outputs in the ATEM. It's strange that it's only on the first one, but I'd like to put it on a different one sometimes. I do wonder if this is the start of something new from Blackmagic, putting in some graphical overlays on outputs and maybe in the ATEMs in general. I will say though, I don't want them to make a full graphic generator. I'm happy to keep working on H2R graphics for this purpose, but it is interesting to see this added to the new ATEMs. So do you find this feature useful? Is it something you will use in your productions? And did you find this video useful? Let me know in the comments below. And otherwise I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.